Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Most respected parents, brothers and sisters, dear children in Christ, last Sunday I explained about the criticism that was placed upon the Pharisees and the Sadducees, that they were showing off their prayer life. They like to pray when the temple is full in front of people. They like to pray in the, in the streets so that people can see them. And another criticism that was given to them was the fact that they did not have a genuine relationship with God. Today in the Gospel reading, we see the Pharisees and the Sadducees having a very rational approach towards their faith. Very robotic, very mechanical. They're on autopilot. നമ്മളെ ചിന്തിക്കാതെ തന്നെ നമ്മൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാൻ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാനായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ഒരുങ്ങും ചിന്തിക്കാതെ തന്നെ ഞായറാഴ്ച നമ്മൾ ഒരു ആരാധനയ്ക്ക് വരും നമ്മൾ ഒരുപാട് ഇതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് ചിന്തിക്കാതെ നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൻ്റെ ശൈലിയായിട്ട് മാറിയിരിക്കുകയാണ് ഞായറാഴ്ച ആരാധനയ്ക്ക് വരുന്നതെന്നുള്ളത് സെയിം വേ ഫോർ ദ ഫാവസീസ് ആൻഡ് ദ സാജസീസ് സോ റൊബാർട്ടിക് ദ സോ ദി അപ്പാസൽസ് ടേക്കിംഗ് ഗ്രെയിൻസ് ആൻഡ് ദേ വർ ഈഡിങ് ആൻഡ് ദേ സീം ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് മോമെൻറ്റ് ദേ സെഡ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഡൂയിങ് വർക്ക് and you're not supposed to do work during sabbath so their faith was very mechanical which we can relate to in our life as well you know when we our when our faith becomes very mechanical on autopilot very robotic it does not become transformational it's just like having a habit you see when we wake up in the morning we have a habit of brushing our teeth taking a shower we don't think too much about it If you think that your faith can be just like that and somehow you can have a strong faith in God you are rece- you are deceiving yourself ningalude vishwasam ningale roopaandra padathanamengil adu verum oru sheelate kaal koodal aayirikanam it should be more than just a habit in your life this morning when you came to church this morning was it because it was a habit was it because you said oh it's raining outside if i could sleep one more hour if i could have a little bit more sleep if i could just if today was not a sunday i could go to church tomorrow maybe but not today i'm too tired or did you wake up saying i have another opportunity to worship my god i have another opportunity to come to the house of god because if we took that approach of saying that it's just a habit of our life it is not going to change us having good habits is good it's a it's a nice habit to exercise it's a nice habit to eat healthy things but if you're just adding your faith just like another habit it's not going to change you it's not going to be at the center of your life your behavior will not change your attitude your thinking your prayer life will not change if it's just a mere habit in our life and this is exactly what happened to the pharisees and the sadducees that they were the offering lip service namak ariyalo ipo even nammal raavale ipo raathri namaskaram cheyidu prabhava namaskaram cheyidu nammal prabhava namaskarathinte oru part ittu thodangi kaynal adu kaiyunum vare namak kaana paadam vanengi namak adu paada we can sing it but the depth of the prayer avan aaradhanayil parayna oyo vari variyai nammal adu grahikkunnundengil we cannot just stand there and just offer lip service nammal ariyada nammal karinju povu that is how deep our prayers are but we become mechanical and become autopilot adagonde thaneyana eshiya pravajana pusthakathil kartav idine kurichu parayunnundu isaiah chapter 29 verse 13 it says this in as much as these people draw near to me with their mouths and honor me with their lips but have removed their hearts far from me ee janam aduthu vannu vai kondu adiram kondu enne bhoomanikkunu എങ്കിലും തങ്ങളുടെ ഹൃദയത്തെ അവർ എങ്കിൽ നിന്ന് ദൂരത്ത് അകറ്റി വെച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു വി ക്യാൻ മെമ്മറൈസ് ദി എൻറ്റയർ പ്രയർ ഇൻ ദ ഹോളി കുർബാന ക്രമം വി ക്യാൻ മെമ്മറൈസ് ദി എൻറ്റയർ പ്രയർസ് ഇൻ ദ പാമ്പക്കുട നമസ്കാരം ആൻഡ് വി കെൻ റിസൈഡ് ഇറ്റ് ബൈ ഹാർട്ട് ബട്ട് അവർ ഹാർട്ട്സ് ക്യാൻ ബി സോ ഫാർ അവേ ഫ്രം ഗാഡ് ബിക്കോസ് പ്രയർ അൺഫോർച്ചുനേറ്റ്ലി ഹാസ് ബിക്കം മെക്കാനിക്കൽ വെരി റോബോട്ടിക് വി ആർ ഓൺ ഓട്ടോ പൈലറ്റ് you know it's just like when i or talk about the lip service it's just like you know you could break it down into the simple relationship that we have in our life in our relationships let's just say that your spouse is going to work 
or your children are going to work and you're watching TV. You're watching TV and they say, okay, honey, I'm leaving. And then you say, as you're watching TV, you're like, I love you, bye. You know, you just kind of say it. You just say it. You don't mean it. It's just a routine thing that you say before you leave your house. Okay, I love you, bye. But you're not saying it with your heart. You're just saying it because it's an obligation. Oh, what would they think if I don't say? Same thing in a church. Oh, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. It's an obligation. But our Lord is saying, no, that's not what I want in this relationship. I want you to be genuine. I want you to want me because I want you. And this is where we have to reflect and ask ourselves, am I being robotic in my life? Am I coming to church and am I praying because my parents are asking me to do it? Or is it because my spouse wants me to do it? Is it because Achin wants me to do it? Or am I doing it because I want to do it myself? Now, now, if we're not being robotic, what should we, our approach be? Our approach should be a renewal approach. And in order for us to have a renewal approach towards our faith, what should we do? We have to ask ourselves, what is in the altar of our hearts? What do we have in our hearts? What do we have in our minds? Because we fill many, many, many things from the world into our hearts. We come for prayer. How many of us genuinely come to church wanting to have a genuine relationship with my God, with our Lord? Or are we still thinking about our work? Are we still thinking about our, our, our home? Are we still thinking about worldly things? Because, see, when we come into the church, there's a reason why. The reason why we take off our shoes is that our church fathers teach. Your shoes, you walk everywhere you go. You take your shoes. And wherever you go, you collect dust and dirt from wherever that you go. Same way is our mind. When you travel anywhere in the world, you collect things from that place and then you put it into your mind. But just like when you walk into the church, you take off your shoes, symbolizing, I put away everything of the world. Same way in our hearts, we have to put away everything from the world before you enter in. And that's why it's so easy to be in autopilot, right? We are becoming mechanical in our prayer because our mind is running, thinking about other things of the world, except God. So the first thing we need to do in order for our faith not to be mechanical is to remove your shoes. When I say shoes, you know what I mean by now. Remove the things out of your heart that is, not, that is worldly. The second thing that we should do when we come for prayer in order for that our faith not to be mechanical we use our entire senses when we pray. We should look our eyes towards the altar or the book. We should not be looking to our neighbor or outside. The ears, we should use our ears to listen to the prayers. We should listen to the prayers. We should open our mouths and our lips to offer our prayers. We should sing. We should respond to the prayers that's being said. We should use our nose to smell the incense that is being offered. So our entire being is directed towards God. Everything of who we are, we should offer to God in prayer so that we're not distracted and it can trans the prayer can transform us. And the third thing we should do, every time we step foot into this church, we should remind ourselves that this can possibly be the last time that you will enter the church. We don't know what's going to happen when we leave this church. Anything can happen when we leave this church. Every time you worship, you should say, this may be the last time that I'm going to come to church. There's a prayer that we say, There's a prayer that I say, I talk to the altar before I leave the altar. And this is what I say, O holy 
and pure altar of the Lord remain in peace. Whether or not I will come back to this place, I do not know. May the Lord make me worthy to see you in the assembly of the firstborn in heaven. I rest in this hope. ജീവന്റെ ബലിപീഠമേ സമാർത്ഥോടെ വസിക്കുക ഇനി നിന്റെ സന്നിധിയിൽ ഞാൻ വരുമോ എന്ന് എനിക്ക് നിശ്ചയമില്ല I'm talking to the altar saying I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to come back to this altar again but may you remain in peace in your life if you can say to yourself that I don't know if I'm going to worship again in this temple your worship will be transformed your distraction will go away if you say this is the last time you're ever going to be in this church offering prayer then you will be built very attentive in in your in your prayer life in your worship in this church so what we should do is to, we should have a renewal approach not a robotic approach not a rational approach because our our life and our faith in in Christ is about a relationship we don't worship a concept we worship a person ഒരു വ്യക്തിയാണ് നമ്മൾ ആരാധിക്കുന്നത് ജസ്റ്റ് ലൈക് വി ടോക്ക് ടു വൺ അനദർ വി ഇന്റർആക്ട് വിത്ത് അവർ റിലേഷൻഷിപ്സ് വി ആർ വി ആർ ഇന്റർആക്ടിംഗ് വിത്ത് ഗോഡ് ഇൻ ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ക്ലോസസ്റ്റ് മാനർ വി ആർ ബീൻ കമ്മ്യൂണിയൻ വിത്ത് ഗോഡ് സോ അവർ ഫേത്ത് ഇസ് നോട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് എ മിയർ ഹാബിറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് റിന്യൂ അസ് ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് റിസ്റ്റോർ അസ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് കാൻ ഹെൽപ്പ് അസ് ടു ബി റിട്ടേണിംഗ് ബാക്ക് ടു ഗോഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ടു ഡു ദിസ് പ്രോപ്പർലി വി ഹാവ് ടു ഫാസ്റ്റ് we have to have our own prayer life in our life we should do confession we should throw away the garbage in our life so that we can prepare to receive our lord every sunday so that god's name may be glorified unceasingly in the presence of our lord for the glory